And as the new president there, Macri, uh, will meet with Cristina Fernandez. We're going to turn to our correspondent there in Argentina, Leonel uh, Pobletti. Hello there again, Leonel. Uh, good to see you there. Um, what do we know that the, the two candidates, not the two candidates, the current president and incoming president Macri, uh, what, do we, uh, what do we expect those two people to uh, be talking about? Totally, that's right. A lot's happening here, as you would expect, in the Argentine national capital today, night rather, this evening at uh, 7 p.m. local time. Mauricio Macri, president-elect of Argentina, will be meeting with Cristina Fernandez at the presidential uh, residence, which is located in the northern suburb of Olivos, uh, just a 20-minute drive out from downtown Buenos Aires, where uh, they will uh, talk about uh, aspects that has to do with the transition. 16 days left until Mauricio Macri is inaugurated. Now, uh, president-elect Macri spoke with uh, a local Buenos radio station earlier this morning uh, in relation to his meeting with uh, President Cristina Fernandez this evening, where he said that he expects a short meeting with uh, Cristina. And uh, he also said that uh, he expects it to be of a friendly nature, uh, where, he, well, where he expects to talk about uh, several aspects regarding the presidency. Uh, he also then uh, said that he wants to know the truth regarding some vital statistics that have to do with the Argentine state. That's where he, where he stopped being a little bit. Leo, Leo, can you hear me? Leo? Yes, I can. Okay, we, we lost your audio uh, there. I don't know where you were. Um, uh, Let's talk about, uh, we, we heard most of you there. Let's talk about that, that editorial quickly, Leo, um, by La Nación. Sparking uh, plenty of outrage there. Uh, has, has, has the paper responded there to the criticism? I think that the La Nación is Argentina's uh, broadsheet, it's one of its, the oldest broadsheet newspaper here in Buenos Aires. The far right on the political spectrum, and yes, it has outraged many here in Argentina because this editorial was published in this Monday's uh, edition of the La Nación. It must be said only a few hours after we all uh, found out the result of the runoff election and that Macri was elected uh, into the presidency. Now, I've been speaking to many journalists and many experts in, uh, relate, in things related to the media this morning, uh, and they all say that this editorial was written before the result was even known, uh, and it is um, a way of basically drawing a, a line in the sand to the incoming government, the incoming Mauricio Macri government, uh, only a few hours again after uh, the uh, election of the uh, the result of the election was known. Now, this is not the first time that La Nación has done this. It is uh, it is quite accustomed to uh, laying down the rules to new governments, recently elected governments. It did it uh, before, back in 2003. Many people here know of an editorial that predicted uh, that. Nestor Kirchner's government back then would only last a year if it didn't uh, respect the guidelines set by La Nación newspaper. He obviously didn't, uh, he didn't settle down to those guidelines and he obviously survived a full term in government. Uh, and now what they're trying to do is, well, basically they're taking advantage of the uphill battle that the Macri government has in front of it. Uh, why? Well, basically, it only won by a three-point margin when uh, most of the right wing here in Argentina was expecting it to win by uh, anywhere between 10 and 15 points. So a very slim margin there to win the election. And also the fact that the Macri government will have uh, no majority whatsoever in neither chamber of the Argentine National Parliament. So uh, many experts here are saying that it's La Nación's way or the, or the right's way to... Uh, toe the line in relation to the next government, which will have some sort of a weak governance. And it also must be said that, that human rights organisations are, are absolutely outraged by this editorial. Not surprised that La Nación actually said this, but by its timing, by uh, having only said this 
hours after the electoral result was known in Cody. All right, Leo, joining us uh, there from what appears to be a cafe there in Buenos Aires. Leonel, buen provecho. My pleasure. Thank you.